Hey everyone, welcome back to the Trailline Channel. This is Richard here with Ross Haber. And as usual, we'll cover our chart of the week, which is EVH and Volant Health Inc. Um, and this entire area, biotech, healthcare, has been pretty much the leading group and sector. And this is one of the stocks from Ross Haber's top Net report uh, going along with that theme. If you want more information about that, covering the overall health and breadth of the market leadership, the market indexes, the link will be popping up right now and also linked down below in the description. And with that, Ross, I'll hand it over to you to discuss overall uh, the chart and what you're looking for with EVH next week. You got it, Richard. Thanks. So EVH is... You know, it's kind of got it all for now. Um, for starters, we've got, it's kind of, it's got a little going for it in terms of industry group, right? So first of all, we've got relative strengths. Let's go with what I, what always catches my eye. The, the group has been on fire, um, medical, you know, that whole medical area, really um, the biotechs and biotech and genetics. But I love this one here because we're getting tech, you know, we've got the software and that We've got both uh, sectors working for it. Both areas are considered traditional growth, correct? So um, in addition to that relative strength, we've got the massive volume push. We've got some huge volume starting to come here, come in here on the heels of big volume off the, off the lows. As you can see, this gap is holding. Um, we've had a big volume follow this up. Even though we had a giant shake here this day, is ultimately extremely positive, even though um, the stock came all the way back below its 50-day moving average, almost touched its 200-day. It ultimately closed back above all of those averages, near a tie for the day, and slightly up on the up on the day. So that's a big accumulation day, right? And you can see since, even with weakness in the market, um, EVH hasn't closed below its 10-day moving average. Um, just looking back here, you can also see there's a good amount of support right around that $30 mark, right? You know, we bumped into it here, here, we're getting, you know, we kind of held above it here, but fell below and you can see a little more support. And it also happens to line up with yesterday's low and that 10 day moving average. So if you wanted something a little tighter, so I'm always just from my perspective, this is support or where I'm going to want to keep a sell stop in this market, right? As we're hoping for more strength to follow it up. So for me, um, 31.48 is is what I'm looking at. We've tried to retake it twice. You know, maybe we've. I'm thinking that power of three is worth a shot here, given how strong the stock is, both fundamentally and technically. Um, so if we've got, again, we get that follow up in volume. Again, I, Stan Weinstein says that volume's got to continue. So you want to see the continued volume. But if you get it, that third retake of the 3148, you can then pick your sell stop. You know, that's up to you, however big you make the position, where progress is in your account. It can be the low of the day. It can be that 10 day moving average. It can be 30. Um, personally, I would, you know, from this point, I would make 30 or lot on a closing basis. 30 would be my line in the sand. Just keep it clean and simple. Um, that's about as much risk as I'd take there. You know, that's my technical take. Um, I'm going to let Richard, you know, what what am I missing? Yeah, no, nothing too much. I think you covered the key points. Um, completely with you, agree, agree with you on, on the strength that we're seeing. I love that unfilled gap off the bottom. And that shakeout, I think, is really key. We saw buyers step in, really support that stock. And the next day, you can see it was a high volume red day. But look at the price action. Look how tight that was. And then once again on this Friday, we saw a lot of tightness. So, yeah, if it can push through that 3148 pivot or even through uh, this kind of high right here, uh, we'd look to, to enter that on if, if volume is, is running ahead of schedule. And then you've got a really nice tight and logical area, that 10-day moving average, as well as that 30 level and these lows right here. Um, I like how it's kind of forming a kind of base on base pattern here, kind of a longer term base. We've got it uh, in pattern rec as a cup and handle, but we've kind of got, you know, one base here, another base forming here between 33 and 25. Our relative strength is uh, making new all time highs in this market. That's really what you want to key in on. And if you go over to a monthly chart, uh, Ross, you've got, you've got that prepped and ready. You can see how juicy this is right in your all time highs um, and uh, a lot of, you know, a nice longer term consolidation that this can really move out from and going back to daily talking about the fundamentals these are also super strong you've got great growth numbers ross if you go to a daily chart here 
And going back to a daily chart, you can see super strong earnings and sales growth the past two quarters, uh, tri triple digit earnings growth, sales growth 38%, margins improving as well. Super strong estimates for this year fall through in 2023 of 90%. That's really significant this year and next are kind of breakout years and you've got a nice trend in fund ownership and one high quality fund just starting a position. So this stock has a lot going for it, um, especially considering the overall group and sector has been acting extremely well um, and the clear relative strength that we're seeing on the charts. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for EVH. Definitely one to have on your radar. Uh, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Are you watching this stock? Uh, what other ones are you uh, basically watching next week? Let us know down below. Also, if you enjoyed this analysis, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you guys in future videos. Thanks.